So now what we need to do is that we need to use the article model. We need to start uh, creating articles or inserting articles. So to do that, first of all, we need to create a URL to display a form that's going to allow us to create a create articles. So here I'm going to say, I'm going to add comma. And then after that comma, I'm going to say path. And then a URL, that, that URL is going to be is going to be named show form, show article form, article form. And then I'm going to say here comma and then views. And then the function is going to be named show article, show article form. And then comma and then name. And then I'm going to give it a name of show article form. Now we need to create that function, show article form. So in the views here, I'm going to say, I'm going to create a new function called show article form. And of course, and as usual, it should take the request and then it's going to return, it's going to return a form. So I'm going to say return render and then it's going to take the request, request. And then the second parameter is going to be the blog and then forward slash and then the name of the file. So I'm going to create a file called show article form R or article form. Let's name it article form dot html and then comma and then the what you want to pass. We don't want want to pass anything so I'm going to just I'm, I'm not going to uh, use the third parameter. Now, what we need to do is that we need to create a file called article form in the in the templates here. So under the blog uh, that's under the templates, we need here to create a new file called article form. Article form dot html. And then inside that, I'm going to add some code. I'm going to say here, I'm going to add this code. And then we need to add here a form. I'm going to just add here form, empty form for now. And here I'm going to say here h1 create article. Create an article. Let me save and head on over to the browser. So I'm going to run my server. I'm going to here run my server. I'm going to use the command Python manage run server. Let me now head on over to the browser. So now in the browser we need to go to the URL which is show article form. Show article form. Now if I hit enter, guess what? We have here this file or this page that says create an article. So we have this. Uh, form, of course, th there is no form because I didn't create the form yet. Let's work on the form. So to work on the form here in the article form, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create here two fields. First, we need, let's say, create a label. I'm going to create a label. And that label is going to be for the title. Title. And then below it, I, I need uh, input, an input. And that input is going to have the following. First of all, the type. The type is going to be text. And then uh, we need also a name. The name is going to be a title. And uh, we also need placeholder. I'm going to say insert title. And that's it. For the second, uh, for the second one, let me surround this with div. I'm going to say here div. And then I'm going to surround this with a div. And then I'm going to create a new um, a new input. And instead of creating that new input from scratch, I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste it below this one. And then I'm going to say here, content. And then here, the type is going to be text. The name is going to be content. Content. And then here, the placeholder is going to be, is going to say, insert content. Finally, we need a button, so I'm going to create here a dev. And then inside that dev, I'm going to create a button. Button, and then that button is going to say 
a submit or create let's say create and the type here the type of this is gonna be submit let me now save and head on over to the browser and now in the browser if I refresh as you can see we have this form this very uh, 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 small form it has only two inputs the title the content and the uh, and the button here 